Prince Harry will inevitably hold a prominent position within the royal family in the future even if he remains a non-senior member of the firm, according to a royal author. Prince Harry stepped down as senior royal at the end of March 2020 alongside with his wife Meghan Markle, in what became known as Megxit. This decision resulted in the Duke and Duchess of Sussex no longer holding military and royal patronages. They can also no longer carry out engagements as representatives of the Queen or the Crown. Moreover, Prince Harry's position in the line of succession to the throne will inevitably change as the children of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge grow up and have their own family. Nevertheless, the Duke of Sussex is set to have a prestigious position within the royal family due to the role his father Prince Charles is destined to inherit following the end of the Queen's reign, royal author Brian Hoey said. Mentioning the reported family rift between the Sussexes and the firm, he told Express.co.uk, one has to remember, in the not-too-distant future, although I hope it is going to be a long way in the future, Harry is going to be the son of the king. So they've got to be very careful how they handle him, you see, because no matter what happens, they can never take that away from him. As the heir, Prince Charles is to follow in his mother's footsteps and accede to the throne. Prince Harry's bond with the crown will continue to be strong even after the end of Charles's reign, as the Duke's brother Prince William will inherit the crown. Speaking about the split between the royals, Mr. Hoey also said a reunion of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with their family in Britain and introducing their daughter Lilibet Diana to the Queen could help heal the family relationship. He said, it would be a very easy thing for the rift to be healed between them, very easy. Moreover, he added, the tensions between Meghan and Harry and their royal relatives may not be running as high as the public presume. He said, it may not be as bad as we on the outside think it is anyway. Because I am absolutely sure the Queen holds no feelings of disapproval towards Harry and Meghan, none whatsoever. And she would certainly welcome them back if they returned, and she would like them to be all together. Indeed the Queen spoke highly about Prince Harry and Meghan in all the public statements issued in regard to their decision to leave the firm as working royals, saying they will always be much loved members of her family. Meghan and Harry also stressed their relationship with the monarch has remained very good following their relocation abroad. Speaking to Oprah Winfrey in early 2021 about the relationship with his family, the Duke said, I've spoken more to my grandmother in the last year than I have done for many, many years. Asked if they also stay in touch with video calls, Harry replied, we did a couple of Zoom calls with Archie. Meghan chimed in, saying, sometimes, yes, so they can see Archie. The Duke continued, my grandmother and I have a really good relationship and an understanding. And I have a deep respect for her. She's my colonel-in-chief, right? She always will be. Speaking to James Corden in February last year, Harry had already said he video-called his grandmother and grandfather. And he revealed the Queen had sent his son Archie a waffle maker for Christmas after learning he wanted one.